Sergeant Steve Friedman and his family have lived in this house since 2006. For all of those years, he's always gotten his homestead exemption on his property taxes until he didn't. It was a paperwork glitch. He tried everything he could to make it right, but the county won't let him. And now he's in jeopardy of losing his home. This is 16 years. The pack garage screams longtime homeowner, and Steve Friedman has the receipts. The water, the mortgage, the dental, they all say this address. That's all part of the documentation he's been supplying the Miami-Dade property appraiser's office since it suddenly ended his longtime homestead exemption and his property taxes shot up. It has been determined that you do not have sufficient proof of permanent residency. The reason? The property appraiser, after all this time, noticed he still had his mother's old address on his driver's license from 50 years ago. Hello everyone, this is Sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to go over this story concerning Master Sergeant Steve Friedman who went to apply, as you heard in the clip, you went to apply for homestead exemption which saves you a lot of money on your property tax but somehow he was denied it because you know whoever the appraiser was saw that he didn't have on his license he still had his old address where his mother lived. So I guess they denied him and he lost out on the benefit of the homestead exemption. And now they added that property tax on his mortgage and he he's, an, uh, he's unable to afford, afford it. And why I made this um, talk, I'm talking about the story is because why I have a special place in my heart for veterans. Um, whenever, I know as a veteran, especially when I, when I go to the homeless shelter, you know, different stories that they have, the things that they went through. And trust me, all the things a lot of them went through for him to even, you know, come back and um, able to, it may not have been easy, you know, able to build a life, buy a home, you know, try to live a normal life after going and serving this country that's something to be applauded because I know a lot of veterans that were unable to do that, unable to do that at all. When they, they went to the service one way and they came back another person and they were never able to bounce back. And one thing I just don't understand, I, they have money, the government have money, it's like they have money for every other thing. I know there's money for veterans, but I feel like there should be more in a sense where they, um, the help for the veterans, they do have programs. Trust me, they do have programs, but for something like this, you know, he shouldn't have had to reach out to the news to get help. It doesn't make any sense because you, we live in a time you could wake up today and say, Hey, I don't feel like I, I'm a woman or a man. I feel like I'm a dog today. I feel like I got, I'm a cat. Maybe I'm a rabbit. And then, and there is funding for stuff like that. You know, there's funding set aside to change who you were naturally were, but there's no funding for a veteran. There is no help. There's no some type of assistance. It doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. So what is a homestead exemption? So what is a Florida homestead exemption? So the Florida homestead exemption is a property tax break for eligible homeowners. Homeowners, it can reduce the taxable value on your primary home, primary home. So not your, you know, yes, your, your second home that you rent out as much as $50,000, saving you approximately $750 per year. Additionally, your assessed value cannot increase more than 3% annually once you've been granted a homestead. So it saves you a lot of money. Yeah. And then, so to apply, you need form DR-501. And then you have to reach out to the county property appraiser, not, not like a private one. You have to go to the county property appraiser. And how you qualify... So to qualify, you must meet the following requirements as of January 1st of the year in which you are filing. So 
you would have to meet those requirements as of January 1st of that tax year. So you'd have to be a permanent Florida resident, permanent Florida resident, not a visitor, own and occupy the property as your permanent residence, hold title or beneficial, beneficial interest to the property, be a U.S. citizen or possess a permanent resident card. So that's why they were asking him for paperwork. I guess that's why um, him having the his mother's address on his ID. I'm sure he had to submit his ID with his per- paperwork. And then when they saw that, I mean, okay, they saw that they could have just reached out to him and say, hey, we saw you have, you know, a different address from what you're applying for, what is going on. You can, why are you just going to reach out to the person? Nope. They just deny the guy and then boom, they automatically put um, up to his property tax. And what she's, this one says it could save you $750. You would think that they would put, that he would, they would put $750 more on a mortgage. No, they put, he said they put $800 more. So $800 in his budget, he won't be able to afford that. And he said that's all he have to, uh, um, that's all he has. That's, that's the only, I guess the only uh, um, thing that he was able to acquire for himself and his family. And now he's on the verge of losing that. <sighs> I don't know why people just couldn't reach out to him. But anyways, so he reached out to Local 10 and they reached out to them. Hopefully it works out for him. But this this is what they do a lot to a lot of veterans and it's a shame because these people gave their lives lives minds body families some people lost, have lost their families you know just doing service for this country and then this is how you get repaid yeah it might work out for him but come on you had to go through all of this it doesn't make any sense so Miami Dade Miami Dade County gotta do better and plus these other local government and municipalities you guys got to do better for the veterans. You got to do better for real. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.